So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today I'm going to showcase to you guys how you can reverse any mistakes you may have made in regards to NPCs. Have you accidentally killed an NPC? You now need them for something? Did you accidentally hit one and then they refuse to speak to you? Well today guys, I'll show you how you can reverse all wrongdoings. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So the Church of Val and the Celestial Dews or Jews, I'm not sure how, is it Mountain Dew or Mountain Dew? I ain't got a clue. All I know is I'm going to call it Jew. So uh, these Celestial Jews and the Church of Vows, there's a lot of confusion around what actually happens here. Well, firstly, you need one of these items. Uh, if you go to your key items, it will be somewhere down here. Did I just go past it? I think I may have. Uh, there it is, right there, right in front of my eyes. So I've got two of these. Carry out absolution at the Church of Vows. Now the Church of Vows is located right here on the map, guys. And you can see where I am at. Uh, you start just around. Where are we? Where are we? Uh, down here. So you start here. You can see it's just up here on your left hand side. Here's the Church of Vows. Now inside here there is a turtle NPC. You can speak to him. He does explain a little about what's going down. But there's also a statue. Now if I go up to the statue you'll see what happens. Yeah, so you can speak to him. He does offer a few bits and bobs in regards to uh, learning things and magic and that. You can also offer him. Uh, what can you actually offer him now? What was it? Let's quickly have a look. Oh, you can offer him prayer books I do believe. Uh, but yeah. And then he has, once you do offer him them prayer books, he offers more in terms of sorcery, you can, not sorcery, sorry, uh, incantations, you can uh, study from him and buy from him. But yeah. So about the celestial Jews, or dues, whatever it is, you'd actually come here to atone them. Right, right in here, guys, you'll see if I do it, you, you don't need absolution. Because what that is, is I haven't actually made any mistakes in regards to NPCs. Haven't really killed any that have a major effect on anything they can offer me. Um, but if you have, for instance, there's a, a major one a lot of people have had uh, made the mistake of. So once you kill uh, Godric the Grafted, which is located somewhere around here, if you come back to the very starting point, guys, which have gone too far down, the first step on your left hand side here, guys, there will be a glowing rock, the NPC you first speak to here. Uh, so if you walk up to the glowing rock and you actually talk to it, it starts the quest of what gives you an amazing item, a medal, which will teleport you to the secret island here, which has and beholds many, many amazing rune farming spots. But a lot of people accidentally hit or killed the uh, NPC that eventually appears here at Rose Church, and you'll see him on screen now. So if you've hit him or killed him, you can't progress his quest line, meaning you can't get this item here, which actually teleports you to said area, that secret area where you can farm tons and tons of things. Also, guys, a few people have killed or slapped Sorcerer Selen, which I don't know why they would do that. But either way, if you've killed them, killed her, sorry, you can come here and reverse said changes and if you don't believe me you can try it out if you go there and give her a, a if you go there and kill her come back here guys and you can quite easily just reverse said changes now a friend of mine used this exact thing uh because he accidentally do you know duck the seamster he's found located near the start in a bush my friend accidentally killed him he come back here guys and reversed all mistakes so yes there we have it guys, it definitely works. So if you've accidentally, like I said, taken out an NPC and you, you well, you, they offer something and you want that certain thing or it's halted progress in a certain thing you are doing, come here guys and do what you gotta do. Now, if you haven't got any of these celestial Jews or do's or whatever the hell they're called, I'll actually show the location to one on screen now. Now, what you need to do firstly is actually gain access to this area if you haven't already so it's called this i don't know i can't remember what this place is called but we're calling it harry potter school whatever it don't matter it don't matter but it'll be it'll be sealed off either way and you have to actually gain access to this now to do that you have to go and get an item a key from behind a dragon 
and you'll see me doing it on screen now so go and grab that guys then come to where i'm at on the map right here which will be the main academy that's what it is it's the academy of magic i don't know i'm so tired guys i'm having like two or three hours sleep this game is keeping me awake But yeah, come here guys and follow the location. I'll go on screen now and grab one of these uh, celestials. And there you have it guys. You can go back then to the Church of Vows and reverse any mistakes you may have made. And there we have you people. The end of the video has now arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.